हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर ममता सैयद फ्रॉम निर्मा यूनिवर्सिटी वेलकम यू टू द कोर्स ऑन थर्मल बिहेवियर ऑफ पॉलीमर्स रिमेंबर प्लास्टिक मटेरियल्स आर टेम्परेचर सेंसिटिव टू अंडरस्टैंड द थर्मल बिहेवियर ऑफ पॉलीमर एंड प्लास्टिक मटेरियल्स इट इज़ नेसेसरी टू अंडरस्टैंड द पॉलीमर स्ट्रक्चर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द क्रिस्टलाइन स्ट्रक्चर इन क्रिस्टलाइन स्ट्रक्चर द मॉलिक्यूल्स आर सेट इन अ वेरी डेफिनेट मैनर this is a amorphous structure in which the molecules are randomly set while in semi crystalline structure the molecules are settled in a mixed manner some regions are crystalline and some region are amorphous in some polymers the crystallinity is more and some polymers the amorphousity is more so friends let us understand the thermal behavior of any polymeric material with the example Let us take an example of a party where people are roaming randomly. Some people are standing in a group of nine to ten people. Some are in four to five. Some are standing in two, and some are all alone. The polymer internal structure looks exactly like this. Now, if we see here, we can see some semi-crystalline structure. This is the amorphous structure, and that is how we can say that the molecular weight distribution is there in any polymeric structure now let us give a temperature from a one corner to this polymer structure so when we are providing a temperature to this particular point it will start melting the cluster closer to it now if that cluster is having a more molecular weight it will take more time and more temperature to melt then it comes to a lesser molecular structure or lesser molecular weight distribution it will take less time and less temperature that is how it will take some time and temperature to melt all this polymer clusters from one corner to another so if we start giving the temperature and at the first region starts softening it is called a glass transition temperature now let us understand the polymer morphology the morphology of most polymers is semi crystalline that is they form mixtures of small crystals and amorphous material and melt over a range of temperature instead of a single melting point the crystalline material shows a high degree of order formed by folding and stacking of the polymer chains the amorphous or glass like structure shows no long range order and the chains are tangled now friends let us understand the glass transition temperature in short we call it a tg in detail glass transition temperature is a very unique property for any plastic or polymeric material let us take an example of this film this film is a flexible film and let us take an example of this material this is also a plastic material but it is not as flexible as this film now how this happens this happens because of its glass transition temperature as the temperature of polymer drops below glass transition it behaves in an increasingly brittle manner in that case this material is having a glass transition temperature below the room temperature and this material is having a glass transition above the room temperature as the temperature rises above the glass transition the polymer material becomes more rubber like thus knowledge of glass transition is essential in the selection of materials for various applications in general values of tg well below room temperature define the domain of elastomers so this comes under the domain of elastomers and this comes under the domain of a rigid structural polymers so that is how the glass transition plays role in deciding the final structure of any material 